Toys, they're collector's items. Hello, this is Vita number 25, and it's the first day that my wife has gone off to Paris having all sorts of fun without me. She's not like... She she Facebooked me once, but that's about it. So, um, this is my day. It is day one of mommy being gone, and the children fully aware that daddy is incompetent for taking care of them are actually making their own lunch. How are you doing, Etos? I'm hungry. You're hungry? You're actually eating breakfast? Did you make yourself a nice lunch? Yes. How are you doing, Zobes? Are you done your project? Yeah, but I need string to tie it. Okay, we'll get you string, okay? Oh, do you want some toast? Yes. You go find toast, I'll get string. How are we surviving without the mommy? Much as I expect. Barely. Wow, girls, it's snowing outside. Even the weather knows that it's sad to be without mommy. Look at the snow. You can barely see it. And because my children are lazy, they We're want to be lazy. driven to school. There's a difference between cold and because... You hold this? And because I spoil my children... Here. Because I spoil my children, I am driving them to school. This is what happens when we don't have the discipline of the mommy. The discipline of the mommy to like hammer down on what is right and true for parenting. Right, girls? You guys are awful camera people. <laughs> You're like wiggling, it's like the Blair Witch Project. Don't you guys know how to properly take video of stuff? We should yeah. send you off to school. So Daddy. what are we doing? We are going to school. Yeah, but you're not going to school for filmmaking. So do you guys miss mommy? It's day one. Or we don't miss mommy yet. I miss mommy. Who doesn't miss mommy? You. I miss mommy. I had to sleep by myself last night. It was awful. There was what, much ne weeping and gnashing of teeth. Really? I didn't hear it. I was crying for most of the night. Because mm. you Daddy. don't know what it's like not to be with the mommy. It's all well and good for you. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because you guys have each other. What do I Daddy have to have? wake up early. All Daddy has is his iPad. Really, you don't like your iPad anymore? Oh, I do, but... <laughs> I'll have it if you I'll don't want it. I'll have Mommy, because she's warm and supple. Awkward. Okay, so day one is done uh, without my wife. And it's been a long day. I made sausages. And, yeah, the girls, as I said, were cleaning up. Here's the, it's still kind of messy in the kitchen, but hopefully, well, tomorrow's Saturday, so they don't have to clean up. Anyway, the reason I have it pointed at this square piece of paper is because I spread candles asked how I made uh, the little flappy, flappy swan thing, like a couple things ago. And so I'm going to show you. Um, the first thing you need is you need a square piece of paper. It can't be long, it can't be like, you know, well, that's not a good shape at all. It has to be completely square. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold it corner to corner. And this is just for creasing. You're not going to keep it this way. You're going to fold it. And I'm very, very anal when it comes to this. And so it's killing me because I want to go fast because I don't want to bore you. But, at the same time, I want to be exact in my, in my foldage. So let me just fold this here. Can you see that okay as I fold happily? Maybe I'll just speed this up. Ta-da! Oh, not perfect. 
So why I love fold these things? I can tell you stories about my day. Um, I went with uh, Debs. Debs and I went out for sushi, so that was nice. Talk some band stuff. She's been doing a lot of listening to a lot of marketing things, and so now she's like on this huge marketing kick right now. Now that I folded into a, a square, I wanted to fold it in the halves as well. So I'm just gonna just quickly do this. Anyway, so she's on this huge marketing kick, and so we've been spending most of the evening. Well, I'm still doing work for work work, but we spend a lot of the evening uh, working on our newsletter. So, if you want to watch, if you want to be part of all this cool stuff, we're going to include in the newsletter. Not a lot of stuff, but you should sign up for our newsletter and all is well and good. So now what do I have? I have my nice paper. I folded it to the corners. I folded it in half as well. In fact, maybe I'll just crease it. So just make sure it's all nice and creased. That's funny. In the newsletter, she was asking me, So, Errol? And I said, Yes, Deb. And she says to me, Do you want to include your Vita in our newsletter? And I'm going, No. I didn't want to do that. Why on earth would I want to include this Vita in our newsletter? Good grief. I, f I found a few of you people who are watching this, like Mercenary Pen watches it. I know Manda watches it. I know Michael Nature Matron watches it. And I guess... Whispered Candles is watching it too. I don't know. I was shocked by that. I didn't even know that she knew I still existed. Anyways, I'm still just creasing it because I'm just very anal about how it's not perfect. So here we have. What I wanted to do is I want to get it into the triangle shape. So I've creased it all a bunch of different ways. It's always good to just do the both the folds just so that it's... Because I haven't really worked out um, which fold goes where. Anyway, I want to take this thing... And I want to take this thing, see, so I'll fold it this way, sorry. You guys are not learning anything, are you? Because I just sit and chat. Okay, so we have this square here, this square here, see, there's the two squares, and they fold in on each other so that you can make a nice little foldy thing like that. I bet you if you take a look on YouTube, there's all sorts of wonderful things on how to make this thing. And I'm teaching you the wrong way. Now, this is the this is what we want to get to, but I'm not really done. What I also want to do, and this is also really difficult, is that I want to, uh, there's the way that they explained it in the book, is for you just sit there and you fold it like this, and then back again. Then you take this one and you fold it here, and line it up to the line. Except, I don't like it because it's not super exact. So once again, I'm going to just fold it my way which is I'll just go sit there and I'll take each fold here and I'll line it up with the middle crease and I'll go until I get to that crease right there and so it looks like this I'll do the same with the other side blum, blum, blum. Ta -da, and I'll bring it up to that crease there so now as you can see it has this like a foldy any bingy bingy bing there like that, and I want to do the exact same thing for each of the other sides. So I'm going to stop this so you don't have to. Or maybe I'll just speed it up. You can hear me go. Well, I haven't sped it up yet. I'm just, just going zubby zubby zub in a high voice. But there we go. I'll just go ahead and do this. I'm also currently listening to The Look, which is Geeky Jewel's. Um, Guilty Geeky Pleasure radio station. Well, I was, but it was upstairs, and I was listening on the computer. And now I forgot that I had to do this Vita, because I wanted to talk about how I was completely wifeless for the day. And it was a sad state of affairs, because, well, you know, things get lonely without my wife. It was really neat. My neighbor kid, the neighbor, he lives. He plays with Echo all the time. Echo and Zoe, mostly Echo. I think Zoe and David. They all they do is just argue with each other. Anyway, uh, he was he like he loves Dubs, Debs and Errol. I think. I mean, he, maybe he's just lying. But he came in and he saved up money to buy himself a CD. And I would have given it to him for free because you know I'm not that much of a big jerk. But you know he saved up money, and so. 
I had him buy it and gave him some buttons and stuff which I didn't have. Anyway, so here we have, as you can see, I finally finished folding it into there. And this is the normal kite stage. So if you remember, I'm going to go and uh, um, now that it's all folded it in like this, I'm just going to take it and make it into the kite stage. Ugh. There we go. So it all folds in on itself. Ta-da! Now I've made a kite. I think these all have per um, proper names, but I'm just calling it kite stage. Now the next thing you do, once you get to do this, I, um, once you get it to this, then it's really easy. I'm just gonna fold this baby up. Sounds good. I'm gonna fold the other side of it up like that. Ta-da! So I folded this thing up. Maybe they call this the wolf stage. I don't know what they call these things. Maybe this was the wolf stage. Then I'm gonna after I fold it up, I'm gonna just take one side and fold it in. And I'm gonna take the other side and fold it in like so. Right? And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it up. It's probably hard to see because it's all black. There you go. And so now I've got the beginnings of the swan. So I'm going to take, let's say, uh, this one here, and I'm just going to bend it downwards that way. Then I'm going to take the other side, and I'm going to bend it downward that way. See? Then I'm going to take this thing, bend it in this way, so it looks like a little swan head. Ta-da! And so I've got the tail. we got the wings here. Now, I can happily... This is a freaking eight-minute video. I can pull another happy little wow! Fly, little swan, fly! There you go. And that is how you make the little swan. And that's the end of this Vita number 25. I'm tired. I've just been staring at the computer all day for legitimate things, and then Debs and Errol things, and I don't have my wife. <sighs> And I also found this cool deck building game on the iPad called Ascension. I bought it. And it's cute. Now I want to make deck building games. Take care. Say goodbye, Swan. Bye, Swan. See ya.